Hello students, welcome to this video again. In this video, I will introduce the topic friction to you. Uh, we, will we will study all about friction and then with the help of activities, I will tell you the cause of the friction. Friction as we studied in the previous chapter, it is a type of contact force. That means it will come into the picture only when the two objects they are in direct physical contact with each other. Now what is exactly a friction? It is a type of force that will oppose any relative motion between the surfaces of the two objects in contact with each other. That means in short we can say anything which will hold any type of force which will hold back any type of motion that means which will not allow any kind of motion that is called friction so friction is the one which will oppose the motion or which will hold back any kind of motion between the two objects that is called friction it the direction of friction since it is a vector quantity it will act along tangential direction that means it will be the it will be opposite to the direction of motion of the object like over here if this is a box and this is moving in this direction then the friction will be in the opposite direction to this and that will be between the two surfaces where the box is kept that means the ground and the box so the friction will be in the opposite direction and parallel to the surface so let me tell about the cause of the friction as we can see here at the microscopic level with our naked eye we can see that these two surfaces they are smooth right they are very plain but and when we try to move these over each other a very very minimal amount of force is required to slide past over each other but friends and students this doesn't happen at the micro microscopic level when we see under a microscope these surfaces these are not as smooth as we can see it over here if we see it under the microscope let me show you how these surfaces they appear under the microscope this is how they appear under the microscope as you can see that the surfaces all the surfaces whether smooth or rough they have many irregularities on their surface the rough surfaces as we can see uh, in some objects like jute the irregularities are very very high and more but in smooth surfaces these irregularities are very less so now we can understand using this example that how the friction works easily it can we can move these two because these two we can see that the surfaces are smooth but actually what is happening when we are keeping these two over each other there is we can see over here there is interlocking between the two surfaces so we can see that the two surfaces they have got interlocked like this so when you keep any box over here on any surface the irregularities they get interlocked like this into each other now what happens if you try to move this object or this box we can say in the in any direction then it, there is need to break these irregularities as you can see so that is why a force is required to break these irregularities and that is why here comes the picture of friction i have another example also four examples are like if i am using these toothbrushes the interlocking will be more clear to you if i want to lift up these uh, this brush with the help of this brush i am not able to but i can do it very easily if these bristles i get interlocked into each other then i can easily lift this uh, this toothbrush over here so that means this interlocking is holding this brush from falling down so this brush is not falling down because of the strong interlocking which was present over here right another example if i take if i take these two combs then there can be interlocking between the two and this is how i can hold this another comb over here which is not falling because of the interlocking between the irregularities between the two 
Now in this last example, can you imagine that you can lift up this eraser with the help of this small pin? Yes, you can. But over here, what I have to do, I will be opening it, putting it into, into this and now see, I can hold this eraser over here with the help of this small pin. So this is not the pin which is holding this rubber, it is actually the friction which will hold this eraser into this pin. So that means it is friction which is responsible for holding this pin and this is the reason why all the big nails they or the small nails they are holding all your paintings on your wall. Those nails they are not actually holding the paintings, heavy paintings, it is the friction which is holding those heavy paintings on the wall. So thank you for watching and do write for more similar examples from daily life in the comment section.